Hello, and welcome to Time Drops. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the Time Drops system during a meet. I will also demonstrate how to deal with common errors that happen during a meet. First, I start the timing app on my Android tablet. The app will try to connect to the STC1 timing controller. I turn on the controller, the buttons, and the start adapter. As all the components connect to each other, the status display on the app will be updated. There is no meat loaded in the app because the MMLink connection has not been established. I start the MMLink app. The app bar and the connection icon will turn green to indicate a successful connection. The meet program is now transferred to the timing app, and I am ready to start the meet. I want to run a timing system test first. I start the race and enable all the lanes. I ask the timers to push all the buttons to verify that everything works. This test race will be saved to MM Link. Before I start the actual meet, I delete the test race. I tap menu, then reset races. Confirm. Now I am ready to run the first real heat. I start the race with the swim starter. I push the lane buttons one by one, and the results come in. When the last lane is finished, the results are saved to MM Link, and the system is ready for the next race. The results will be shown on the left side. The next race is running. As long as everything goes exactly as planned in the program, the system will be completely automatic. Now I will show what to do if things are not going as planned. First, let's look at a false start. The race is started, but a swimmer takes off early, and the referee recalls the race. In this situation, I simply tap the false start button and confirm. The race will be ready to start again. This time, the race will finish normally. Next, let's assume the starter accidentally activates the swim starter in the middle of a race. The system will show an alert about this condition. I tap no on the dialog to indicate that this was not a valid start. The race can now finish normally. Next, I will demonstrate what to do if a timer accidentally pushes a button in the middle of the race. The time will show on the screen, but will be highlighted in red as it is only one out of three buttons. To clear this error, I swipe the incorrect time left, and the lane is reset. Next, let's look at more complicated situations. In this case the swimmers are coming in, but in lane 4 only two timers push the button, while in lane 3 only one timer pushes the button. I need to decide which of these times are plausible and valid. I swipe the times right to confirm them, and the system will finish the race. Now let's look at how to handle no-shows. The time drop system will automatically identify all empty lanes in the program. But let's assume the relay in lane 1 is missing a swimmer and forfeits. I tap the lane to toggle between empty and occupied. Let's see what happens if I forget to mark the lane as empty. As all the other lanes are finishing, the system will wait for lane 1 to receive a time. The clock keeps running. In this situation, if I mark the last lane as empty, the race will be finished immediately and the system is ready for the next race. Now let's see what happens if I don't pay attention and never mark the no-show lane as empty.
After all the other lanes have finished, the clock will just keep on running. The starter may not be aware of my mistake, and will start the next race. When the system detects this start, it will show an alert, and I need to determine what just happened. In this case, I tap yes to confirm that a new race has in fact started. The time drop system will now close out the race, save the results and retroactively start the next race with the correct start time. Now, let's look at some other possible situations. In this scenario, a timer accidentally pushes a button, but I neglect to reset the lane. Now as the swimmers are finishing, the actual times are reported. The accidental push is now part of the final time. To fix this, I long press the times in lane 3, and then select reset A to reset this one button only. The correct time will now show up. Now one last advanced example. In this case, a timer again accidentally pushes a button. But I neglect to reset that button before the race finishes. The time drops app goes to the next race. But even after the race is finished, I can correct my mistake. I long press the finished race in the program column, then tap, adjust. This dialog shows all button presses that happened during the race. I can now identify the invalid time and then tap it to toggle it on or off. I click save to send the updated times to MMLink. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.